I'd just like to touch on overwhelm today because it's um, it's a huge subject and I can't do it justice in really in just a, in a, in a few minutes. But the overwhelm can be caused by so many things. And let's take an overwhelm of, because this time of year, people can find it very, very overwhelming. They've got so much to do and so little time and the pressure that people feel under. And that um, overwhelm, I would think of as elm. And that is um, the responsibility one. There's just too much responsibility if you're the one that's responsible for holding everything together. Um, an example of overwhelm in a normal circumstance is say that somebody's been made into the supervisor at work and they're overwhelmed with that position. And it could be temporary. It's usually a temporary sort of feeling, but overwhelm um, in that situation. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with so much to do, elm could be the one that you need. If however you're overwhelmed because you've done so much and you've kept going and you've kept going and you've kept going, you're the sort of person that everybody relies on, well one that's closely associated with elm is oak and you imagine an oak-like person where everybody's coming to them to solve their problems and they've carried on and they've carried on beyond when they should have ever carried on and now they've worn themselves out, then that is an oak, um, that would be the oak one that you would need. But there's all sorts of different overwhelms and it could be that you're overwhelmed because you've um, been doing too much out of your choice. Say you decided that you um, you had to do this and you had to do that and you've, you've you, you're, you're, you, you've made yourself do lots and lots of things, well then that would be the vein because that would be for someone who burns the candle at both ends but it's their, it's their choice but they've really felt that they've had to do it, they've had to get something out, all the cards written out by a certain date and they need to be posted and they've got to do this and they've got to do that, well that's the vein and that's um, the personality that has to do everything and um, in the end they just wear themselves out so that's a different reason for wearing yourself out because you've chosen to do too much that's often my one um, or it could be that you're overwhelmed because people are asking you to do things and you can't say no and that is like um, being a doormat for everyone. Oh, can you look after the dog while I'm but there? Or can you look after the children? Or can you um, stay in while this parcel comes? Or And you, you're always saying yes. <clears throat> and yet it wouldn't do any harm to say no. And that is the century um, personality. The person that can't say no, but actually ends up feeling very, very resentful because they wish they could say no and it isn't actually the people's fault that even ask them because they don't realise that it's too much for them and it actually gets them down so it's up to you if you always say yes to be able to say no in a nice way um, so century is that one that you would um, uh, need so the different forms of overwhelm and it could be that um, you're overwhelmed because um, it's that time of year when memories come up of losing a loved one and that's really, really tough. Everybody's got it tough for different reasons and I know that. But this is a particularly tough one and the rescue remedy is really good and it's got Star of Bethlehem but Star of Bethlehem added to a rescue remedy mix would be good as well as the honeysuckle, which allows you to look back on the memories without it sort of overwhelming you. Um, and I would also, if they've got, they've just recently, if you've just recently lost someone, you would need either gorse or the sweet chestnut. Gorse is, if you remember the gorse, the red, the, the red, 
yellow gorse bush it's bright so it's like a little bottle of sunshine that you feel fed up and you've got reason to feel fed up but you don't want to feel like that because you know you want to be able to relate to other people well gorse would be the one to take but if it got so that you couldn't even see the tunnel never mind the light at the end of the tunnel then the sweet chestnut is the one for when you're seriously the duvet days get a bit too frequent and that would be the um, sweet chestnut and um, I've mentioned before how to make them up but if I go through it um, you get 30 you've got these 30 mil bottles that which are quite um, easily come by these days and there's also this spray in this bottle here this atomizer I can put links on so that you can see I've got these off of eBay and I've got uh, found a supplier for these that aren't too expensive and you say with this bottle you fill it up to here with cool boiled water and you add a teaspoon of uh, brandy or cider vinegar to keep it um, from bacteria and then you add in two drops of the remedies say you needed elm for overwhelm you just need two drops just two drops in the bottle and that should last you three weeks if you wanted to put rescue remedy in it as well then you put four drops of rescue remedy in and then that would also last you so you could put four drops of rescue remedy in there and then two drops of whatever you felt up to oh, up to seven different um, batch remedies but that's just to give you an idea of, of, of what they can do and they're easily available in health shops and uh, bigger boots